From Hollywood, it's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's newlyweds. This couple walked down the aisle two months ago, Juliana and Dale McCants. Our next couple did the I Do six months ago, Kathy and Brian Cortez. This couple made it official 12 months ago, Amy and Tyler Burke. And our next couple exchanged their vows 14 months ago, Connie and Donald Noble. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks! Oh, thank you! Thank you, hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. We've got four delightful couples. Are you ready to play the game? Yeah! yeah. The ladies, do me a favor. Off you go to the soundproof room. And while you do that, I'll be asking the gentlemen in round one some five-point questions. Now, listen, fellas. Hey, quit watching the other wives down there, Donald. I'm going to ask you to answer these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And remember, it's a couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins that great second honeymoon. Ladies are gone. Here's your first question for five points. Gentlemen, thinking back to the very last time you and your wife had electrifying sex, <laughs> what electrical appliance will she say you acted most like? Did you act like a blow dryer, a power saw, an iron, or a can opener? <laughs> Donald, the last time you had electrifying sex, did you act like a blow dryer, a power saw, an iron, or a can opener? A power saw. A power saw. A power saw. You're a romantic guy. That's right. Woo! Just keeps plugging away. Electrifying. Electrifying. Yes, sir, I can tell. <laughs> All right. Brian. I'd have to say it's the blow dryer. You act like a blow dryer. Oh, yeah. All it right. Was hot. Good. Dale. I'd have to go with blow dryer also. It Lock just, oh, I just love, love. <laughs> I can't say that on TV, can hey, I? <laughs> Tyler. I'd have to say saw. Um, you acted like a power saw. Weird sound that I make, so, uh, eh, well, I won't go into it. <laughs> so, <laughs> do me a favor, saw. don't do that without your wife being saw. here, okay? <laughs> Phew. Next question, gentlemen, would your wife say that her head's too large for her body or her body's too large for her head? Brian? <laughs> That's a dangerous question. I know I'd have is. to say her body's too large for her head. Her body's too large for her head. All right, Dale? Body's too large for her head. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler? Sorry. Body's too large for her head. Her body's too large for her head. Yes. All right. Donald? Her body is definitely too large for definitely her head. Definitely too large for her head. <laughs> All right. Gentlemen, I want you to take a look at something here now. You see this pie? Ooh, isn't that a pretty pie? Look at that sucker. Oh, let me do it. If I were to offer your wife $50, a brand crisp $50 bill, cash, to put this cream pie in your face. Do you think she would go for it and humiliate you on national television? Or would your wife simply politely decline? What do you think, Dale? She'd go for it. She'd go for it. She'd go for it. No for $50, question. $50, she would humiliate $50. you on television and make you look like a fool? I would be the biggest fool there was. Really? Wow, I'm in... I'm, I'm sorry. Tyler? I don't even think it would take the $50. Oh, I see. <laughs> it, uh, so she'd go it for just, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Donald, oh, Donald, would she humiliate you or would she just politely decline? She would most definitely politely decline. She would politely decline. Yeah, she definitely decline. Because she would not want to make a fool out of you on television. No, she can do that anytime. No, I see, yeah. <laughs> Brian? Oh, no, she'd toss it. She had tossed that sucker. Oh, yeah, right. All right, gentlemen, there. thank you. We'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Buzzers created the very first ever National Game Show Day. Join us for our four day celebration. This is a very, very <laughs> special day for us. All day today on Buzzer. Let's play.
those nutty newlyweds and me, Bob Eubanks, coming up on Buzzer. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards and I'll have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins an incredible second honeymoon. So it's nice to have you back. And here we go, ladies. Ladies, thinking back to the very last time you and your husband had electrifying sex. <laughs> Is that funny, huh? What electrical appliance would you say he acted most like? Did he act like a can opener, a blow dryer, a power saw, or an iron? Amy, the last time you had electrifying sex, do you remember that? Uh, I have to <laughs> Sorry. <think. laughs> Did he act like a can opener, a blow dryer, a power saw, or an iron? I'd have to say an iron. He acted like an iron? Yes. Just flat it was, and nothing, huh? No, it was yeah. hot. Oh, it was hot. He said he acted like a power saw. <laughs> Is that that noise you make? <laughs> well, could you could you do so, that again, man? Uh, <laughs> Is that what he does? I don't think so. Oh. I don't believe so. Obviously, you haven't been there. Yeah. <laughs> Juliana. Yeah. Did he, what did he act like? A blow dryer. He acted like a blow dryer. All right. He said he acted just like a blow dryer. Right. Yeah. Right. I can't go into that. <laughs> Pardon me? Don't make me go into the blow dryer. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. Don't even okay. see Kathy. <laughs> Okay, Bob, it's always electrifying. Just want to say that. It's always electrifying? Always electrifying. Is that right? And I'm going to say a power saw. He acted like a power saw. He said he acted like a blow dryer. Oh, yeah. Come on, you know. Blow dryer. Hot, blown. That's all, Connie. <laughs> Connie. Bob, I would say a blow dryer. Let me ask you a question. Do you have electrifying sex with Donald? <laughs> Sometimes. I see. Is he a romantic kind of a guy? Sometimes. 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 Not all the time. Is not all the time. That's why I say the blow dryer. He's a blow dryer. Because yeah. our blow dryer goes out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> got a short one. <laughs> baby. Maybe you ought to get your blow dryer some Viagra yeah, and see what happens. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> Donald said he acted like uh, he was a power saw. Baby. Blow dryer. <laughs> well, let's try another question. <laughs> Ladies, would you say your body's too large for your head or your head's too large for your body? Juliana? Um, my body's too large for my head. Your body's too large. Dale said that uh, your body's too large for your head. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, you get the point. That's right. <laughs> Kathy? He better have said my body is too large for my head. Your body's too large for your head. All right. He said definitely your body is too large for your head. Yeah. yeah. Huh? He said my head is too large for my body. He did, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He said, let me, let me repeat it the way he said it. He said, definitely her body is too large for her head. <laughs> That's what he said. He didn't, didn't say he didn't definitely? Say that. He didn't say that. I, I, yeah, he did. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Get that yeah. up. Sorry. I'm sorry, Donald. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Mr. Blow Dryer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amy? Definitely body's too large for my All head. All right, he said definitely your body's too large for your head. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, ladies, I want you to do me a favor. You each have a cream pie in front of you. I want you to pick up that cream pie. Would you do that for me? Just pick up that cream pie. All right. Now, ladies, I'll tell you what I got. Let me see if I got it. Yeah, I have four $50 bills right here. I have a $50 bill for you, Amy, a $50 bill for you, Juliana, and one for you, Kathy, and one for Connie. Okay, now, here, here's the question. If, let's start with you, Amy. Amy, if I would offer you $50 to put that pie right in your husband's face, would you, <laughs> would you humiliate this man on television in front of God and everybody, or would you just politely decline? Oh, no. I... I'd smash it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Juliana. 
Would you humiliate this man on camera in front of everybody, or would you just politely decline? You have so made my day. I <laughs> First of all, just for fun, you know what, let's go back to husband number one. Uh, did you say she would or would not do it? Could I see the card? Yeah. Yeah. She said, yeah, she would go for it, and she did. They get the point. They get the point. And now, now, Dale, did you say she would or would not do it? Most definitely. She would go for it. Okay, $50 for your wife. That's fine. Thank you. Right. You're very welcome. Oh, now, now, Kathy, $50. I would you do can humiliate him, or you can politely decline. I would do a lot of things for 50 bucks, and this would be a pleasure. Oh. 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 Hey, Brian, what'd you say? He said she'd go for it. All right. All right. Now, now, now. Here's the deal. Look, it's a 50 crisp dollar bill. It's a real bomb. It's a real $50 bill. Okay. You have the choice that you can humiliate your husband. I mean, after telling him he was not electrifying every time you have sex, you can humiliate him and put the pie in his face and take the $50, or you can politely decline. What would you like to do? Hurry, please. I'll, I'll do it. Do it. Ah! There's a 50 bucks for you, Hush. Hey, Donald, raise it up. He said no, she would not do it. Oh. All right, we'll be back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. <laughs> Choice first and final episodes day will return after this. Stay tuned.
Is the honeymoon over? More newlyweds and me, Bob Eubanks, coming up on Buzzer. And welcome back, everybody. All right, ladies, now your husbands are all secluded off stage and getting cleaned up, by the way. It's your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And our ladies are $50 richer, uh, except for... Well, oh, yeah. here we go. <laughs> here we, ladies, where, where on his body will your husband say you're still hoping he'll fill in just a little bit? Where, Juliana, on his body are you hoping he'll fill in just a little bit? Uh, <laughs> uh, his chest. His chest? Yeah. He's got a bad chest, huh? This needs to be filled in. He's well endowed in other areas. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't ask that so, uh, question. That's the last of it. Amy. Uh, I definitely say chest. His chest? Chest, yes. He's got a he little bitty improve. chest? Well, I mean, it can use some improvement. Well, it looks like he needs some hair, too, you know. Oh, on top of his head? No, well, I don't know about that. He has that. enough on his chest to go okay. on top of his Connie? head. Connie? <laughs> his stomach, his waistline. You want him to fill in his waistline? Yeah, he's pretty thin. Is he really? I've been trying to fatten him up. Well, what, what do you think the problem is? Too much electrifying sex, probably. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hot mama. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy? I'm going to say his head with his hair, because he used to have really long hair, and we call him Pocahontas. You called him Pocahontas? Yeah, and now he cut it off, and I really miss it. All right, so you want him to fill in his head. Yeah, All right. with his with Next hair. question. Ladies, if your husband decided he was gay tomorrow, yeah. not today, tomorrow, <laughs> which one of his buddies will he say was the most responsible for his decision to come out of the closet? <laughs> Give me a first name only, please, here, Amy. Now, um, if your husband decides tomorrow he's gay, which one of his buddies... Uh, well, he say was responsible for him coming out of the closet. His friend Kaiser. Kaiser. Yes, definitely. How come you say Kaiser? Um, he's kind of feminine a little oh, bit. Oh, Kaiser is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't tell him. Bit. Okay. Yeah, Connie. <laughs> Greg. Really? How come? He's always talking about Greg. Always. <laughs> really? Yeah. They went to high school and elementary together. And Does all that make that you stuff. suspicious or anything? Nah. No, nah, no. Nah. I'm not worried. No, I can tell you're not worried. <laughs> Kathy. Gary. Gary. Yep. Gary. Gary would... calls Brian Pocahontas too. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> Gary. Gary. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Juliana? Gary. I hate the thought of any of it, but I'd have to say Michael. Michael would yeah. cause well, your. Well, they're just super good friends, but they sing um, together, and you know they're like huggers and slappers and huggers all and this slappers. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-five point bonus good. question, ladies. Ladies, nobody makes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with exactly equal amounts of the two ingredients. Keeping this in mind, will your husband say he prefers his with just a little more peanut butter or just a little more jelly? Connie? A little more jelly. He likes his with a little more jelly. Yeah, he's got a sweet tooth. All right. Kathy? I have no idea. I'm going to say a little more peanut butter. A little more peanut butter. What the Juliana? Heck? More peanut butter. More peanut butter, Amy. More peanut butter. All right, ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on a newlywed game right after these messages.
And welcome back to the newlywed game. Okay, three of our couples have scored. Donald, all he's got a pie in the face and no points. But that's all right, Donald. You're going to have a lot of chance to catch up here. Let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And here's our first one. Gentlemen, where on your body did your wife say she's still hoping that you'll fill in just a little bit? Where in your body, Brian, did she say that she's hoping you'll fill in just a little bit? Probably my chest. Your chest, all right. No, she wants you to fill in your, your head a little bit. Pocahontas. Yeah, Pocahontas. Your hair. Yeah. Oh. 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 Donald, I can't imagine her saying anything since you're Mr. Perfect, but Donald, this is your chance to zoom into a tie for last place. Where on your body? I'm going to say my chest, Bob. Your chest, all right. She said she would like for you to fill in a little bit. Card for me, please. Top card. Just that one. That's the only one. Yeah, your waistline. She wants you to get a little fatter. What's wrong with my waist? Baby. I'm a small man. Yeah, I know, but just a little. What's little, the matter? I, Speak up. I can't hear you. I'm just a, small a little. Man. You're a small man? Small man don't need a big waist. That's right. <laughs> you're, a, you're a power saw. You got a pie? You're a power <laughs> saw, man. I know. Power saws don't get fat. That's right. Okay. Well, we solved that. Tyler? I'd have to say the uh, top of my head, my hair. Your hair. All right. She said she wants you to fill in your chest. You know, bulk up what? a little oh. bit. Oh, hey, check me out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? What's wrong with this? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Yeah, whatever. Oh, well. Uh, Dale. It's the hair. I'd have to say my, my mind, my brain. Your brain? Yeah. Yeah, no, she wants you to fill in your chest, your little flabby around the chest. Sorry, babe. What? I didn't say flabby. I oh, said I laughing. said that. I'm sorry. I What'd she like say, Bob? <laughs> well, she, she no, didn't say flabby. No. I, I added that. Oh, you had yeah. flabby? What did she, she say? She just said you didn't have much of a chest. Oh. Wasn't oh. that it? No, no, don't go there. No, it wasn't really like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look for the rematch. She's sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> oh, is she? No yeah. way. Next question. Hmm. Uh, gentlemen, if you decide, oh, this is an important question. Donald, listen carefully. If you decided that you were gay tomorrow, which one of your buddies would you say was the most responsible for your decision to come out of the closet? Now, Donald, you decide that you're gay. Which one of your buddies would be responsible for you coming out of the closet? Give me a first name only, please. It'd have to be Greg. How come? He's gay. Oh. <laughs> Good reason, Donald. <laughs> she said it would have to be Greg, yeah. <laughs> Woo, Donald, you're in last place. Good for you. Tyler. Uh, I'd have to say Kaiser. Kaiser? Yeah. Really? He's a little... Uh, He's I, worry about, I worry about him sometimes. Okay, so. Amy said it would have to be Kaiser, yeah. <laughs> What do you think about this one here, Dale? Uh, I'd have to go with Michael. How come? He's my only friend. Oh, he's your only friend, Michael. All right. <laughs> Michael's right. <laughs> and Brian. Well, being that we have a good friend who's gay and he's after my body, I'd have to say Gary. Gary. All right. She said it would be Gary. You got it. Okay. Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer! You're off to one of the most beautiful hotels in Mexico! Camino Real Zashila, the closest place to paradise, is located at the newest tourist destination in Mexico. Bahia de Huatulco, the most exclusive place on the Pacific coast. And you'll be flying Mexicana Airlines with service from eight major gateways. Enjoy what makes Mexicana Mexico's favorite airplane with a friendly feeling of Mexico the minute you board their modern air Aircraft. Mexicana Airlines, back to you, Bob. All right, thank you, John Kramer. You are the best, man. You ready? 25-point bonus question. Here we go. Gentlemen, nobody makes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with exactly equal amounts of the two ingredients. Now, keeping this in mind, do you prefer yours with just a little more jelly or just a little more peanut butter? Let's go first to Donald and Connie. You've got 10, 25, and give you 35. Donald, if you get it right, you'll be in first place. What's your answer? Just a little bit more jelly. Just a little jelly. She said, just a little bit more jelly. Yeah. All right, couple number one, Tyler and Amy with 20, 25, gives you 45. Take over the lead, Tyler. Definitely peanut butter. Peanut butter, she said, peanut butter. You got it. Couple number three, Brian and Kathy with 20, 25, gives you 45. Get it right, and you're tied for the lead. Brian. More jelly. Jelly. She said, more peanut butter. 
Nanny. All right, couple Kelly. number two. Dale and Juliana, you have 25. 25 to give you 50. Get it right, you're going to be our grand prize winners. If you miss it, you go home in third place. Got to be peanut butter. Got to be peanut butter. She said peanut butter. Dale and Juliana, you're our newly one game grand prize winners. Thanks to our couples. Thanks to you at home. Hey, I'm Bob Eubanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.